uh, we are going to build basically build a product hunt clone uh, where we are going to vertically stack our product lineup and we are going to pull uh, the list of these products from Airtable. Uh, the purpose of this uh, uh, tutorial is to uh, help you understand how easy it is to build a website using no code tools and for that we are going to use three tools one is uh, Adalo uh, we are going to build a new app in Adalo we are going to pull our list of apps from Airtable and that uh, tool which we are going to use to fetch this list to Adalo is no code API so, uh, before moving forward, we are going to start with building a brand new app by going to app.adalo.com and clicking on create new app. Once you click on it, you are going to select desktop web app, click next, select blank, click next, give it a name of uh, like product hunt, change the primary color to product hunt's primary color. For that, we are going to use color picker. Okay. We're going to paste it over here. And the secondary color is going to be white smoke or off white. And we are going to click on create. Uh, once we create a new app, we are going to be given three or four screens uh, with a pre-built login sign up forms page. But we do not need them for this particular tutorial because uh, we are only wanting to show our list uh, and we want to know that uh, how to build a simple website uh, using this one only screen. So. Before uh, uh, laying down all our components, we need some kind of components on the screen. And uh, on the product hunt website, we want to have this list, which is going to be showing each product uh, in this card. And we need a nav bar where we are going to add a logo and an add button in our nav bar. Only two things. So for that, click on this add button go to uh, simple click on vector and then select this navbar screen all right next we are going to select an image dropper for that uh, select the image from the add button and place it over here note that it has to be vertically centered so that it when we share our screen it does not go uh, off the screen proportions next uh, we need to add a button on the right corner click on this and we are going to add it here and we're going to say add product or simple add uh, we want to change the background color to white and we want to change the white to uh, the borders to secondary and then we want to add a url to add the URL, we are going to click on URL and here we are going to upload an image which we already have with us. We are going to select it and uh, upload it here. Once we select it, we our product hunt logo is now shown here and we have an add button that when we click on it, we are given a form where a visitor can upload his product and it should update in our Airtable data sheet. So, uh, after our navbar is complete, we are going to convert it into a group. That's it. So our navbar is complete now. Next thing is we want to build this app card. It should have uh, an image placeholder, uh, header, or uh, a label, then the description or tagline, then category. We are not going to build this feature where we can add comments and we are going to show uh, the upvote count in the right corner in the same pattern as it is shown here. So for that we are going to go to add component here click on simple and then select the vector. It should also be horizontally centered. And in this uh, 
a container we are going to convert it into the similar kind of container which we built for navbar once it is there we are going to add few elements like an image in the left corner it is going to hold the image of our app and we are going to reduce its size next we are going to add few components like uh, the header then its uh, tagline and at the last the category so uh, once we add these we are going to style them a little and uh, we are going to bring them closer okay. so it's a little bigger in size we are going to convert it into 20 then we are going to have a tagline underneath and at the bottom we have a rather dimmer font style and its weight should also be a little lighter so uh, we have the label of our app here the tagline and the comments uh, the last part is we want to add this right corner button where we are going to show the vote count for that we are going to add another vector by clicking on add component click on simple click the vector, uh, vector tool uh, place it over here in the right corner and next we are going to add a triangle again in the simple we are going to say it looks something like this so we are going to make it a little darker okay. and uh, the background should be white and its border should be off white so this is it and next we are going to place it in the center of this rectangle after that we are going to add another text placeholder and we are going to say that it should contain votes vote count so for that we need it to be center aligned and it should also be in the center of this app okay uh, i think our elements are placed as we want them but before moving forward we have to group them together to make sure that uh, all these elements sh are shown in the center uh, of the app when the app is loaded on a responsive uh, browser or a different size browser these elements should not fall apart uh, to make sure it is working as desired we are going to test right now and i'm going to show you how it should not be working and what is the bug uh, the main problem we are going to see here is that our elements uh, would be distributed apart and they would not be listed as we want them to be shown over here. Okay. So uh, you can see that these elements are listed here, uh, but these are not loaded yet. And to make sure that these are loaded as we want them, uh, we are going to uh, group them together. We are going to uh, connect them with our Airtable data sheet. For that, we are going to go back to App Builder. Here, we are going to group them together. Sorry. Select them, bring them to the center, group them. Next, we are going to group these together and we are going to bring them to the center of the card. Okay, so once it is done, we are going to select all of them and convert them into one group. And we are going to test it once again if all these elements are showing as we want them to be shown or they are falling apart. So to make sure we can see that all these elements are in place and they are working, as we want them they should be working okay the next step is to convert this uh, group into a list 
so that we can uh, populate our data into these cards. We are going to reduce the item spacing to zero. And uh, after that, we are going to move it a little up. And uh, once we have it in the center, we are going to uh, load the data. So to moving to the database uh, where we can connect our database with this uh, with these cards, we are going to use the external collections. And uh, for that, we are going to uh, create a new collection and we are going to need an endpoint or say API base URL. We are going to get it from no code API because no code API helps us get a single endpoint URL to fetch all this Airtable data and present it to Adalo. For that, if you have not yet registered on app.nocodeapi.com forward slash login, so register, but I already have an account. I'm going to log in with that. And after logging in, I'm going to see that I already have few endpoints here. I'm going to delete them and uh, I'm going to build one from scratch. If you cannot see Airtable right at the landing place of your dashboard, go to marketplace and select Airtable. Click on make Airtable API, give it a name. I'm going to give it a name of app or say apps. And then I'm going to get the key of my uh, Airtable data sheet by clicking on this link. I already have logged in, so it is going to take me directly to the key which I want. I'm going to pick it and paste it over here. Next, I'm going to be needing the base ID. The base ID is the data sheet or the database uh, which we want to fetch from Airtable. So I already have uh, a data worksheet over here, no code API demo. Click on it and it is going to take us to our base ID. It is going to take us to the documentation, but we only need the base ID. Pick it up and paste it over here. Once it is done, click create and test if your endpoint is working or not. If you click on open playground, it is going to open the sidebar and here click on try it out and give the table name. The name of the table is apps. So I'm going to give the name here apps and click execute. Okay, so we can see that all our uh, rows are basically shown in the shape of JSON uh, format and uh, these are objects in an array and the name of the array is records. This information is important. We are going to be needing it to connect our Airtable with our Adalo app. For that, we are going to give it the name apps and here we are going to paste the endpoint which we just created copy it and paste it over here we are going to add a header telling it that the content type is actually text html then click next click on get all and here we are going to be picking up the request url which we just tested in the playground paste it over here the results key is the results array nested under some key yes it is nested under the key records so we're going to mention it over here click done then next click run test and if everything is working fine we should get a successful message so test has been successful we are ready to connect this uh, app with our air table okay it is telling us that this app has these kind of keys and these are good. We can pick the name from it, tagline, category, vote count, photo, and we can show it uh, on this list. So we are going to click on this list. And what is this list of? This is a list of apps which we just created. Then click on the image bar, image placeholder, image source is actually a URL. Click on this magic text button click on current app, click on photo, and it is going to connect uh, the photo of each card with its app field, uh, with its own photo. 
Next, we are going to click on uh, the label of the app. We are going to say that this is again current app name of the app. Then in the description part, we are going to connect it to the description. And in the category part, we are going to connect it with the category. So click on this part and uh, it should show category of each app listed in this card. Next, we need the vote count. The vote count should be listing, would be showing up uh, in the current app and it is votes count. So it is the votes count shown here. Okay, our app is uh, uh, kind of ready. This button is not yet functional, but to before moving forward, we are going to test if all our apps are loaded in it or not. Click on the refresh button or the share button over here and it is going to load your app in a new tab. Okay, so our app is functional, functioning fine and it is showing all our uh, apps listed as we want them in our own website. And if you want to uh, share this website with anybody, you can just pick up your this link and uh, share it with your friends. And that way you can visually uh, dictate what kind of data it is which you are holding in your sheets and how you want other users to interact with it. So uh, for our purpose, we, are, we want our visitors to be able to add a new product whenever they uh, land on this app. So for that, we have to make this add button functional. Uh, in the add button, we are going to connect it with a form. The form here is uh, this table converted into a form in an Airtable. It is uh, the Airtable's own feature. We can convert it into a form. And after converting into a form, we can share it. Open form. And if we open our form, we are going to get the link to our form. We're going to pick it up and then we are going to connect it uh, with our Adalo app. So when we click this button, we want to add an action. We want to go to a link and it has to be a website. And here we are going to paste the website of our form and click done. So once it is done, we should be able to click on this form, uh, click on this add button and it should be opening the form in a separate table. So refresh your screen. After that, click on this add button and it should open the form. And when somebody adds or submits a new app, it should be uh, loading uh, in our, it should be showing up in our, data, uh, in our database as well. And if we want, thank you for submitting. And if we refresh our app, this app should be showing up in our front browser. So, we're going to refresh it once again. Okay, it's not showing yet. Let's see if the data is loaded. The app is uh, showing that we have our data over here, but because no code API uses caching, so it is going to take few minutes before our data is loaded from uh, the amended Airtable sheet and is showing up here. For that, we can refresh it now and see if it is working or not. So it's still not working, but in some time, uh, I will come back and show you that it should be working. Uh, refreshed it and after a minute I have seen that the, the data which we just updated from this form is now showing up over here in our app and we can share this app with our users as we want it and if we want a custom dom domain connecting with it with our Adal Adalo app we can use that as well uh, to connect our custom app or to connect our app with the uh, another person or we want somebody else who can alter this app in any way we can uh, share this app's link or add a team member here and you can build this app 
uh, with your team. So this is it. This is how you can build any kind of website using Adalo uh, and picking up your data from no, uh, from Airtable and uh, using no code API to fetch this data and show up and show it up in your website. Uh, I hope you learned uh, a lot of cool features through this tutorial. Leave any feedback if you have or if you are feeling any kind of difficulty in building your own app, you should be contacting us and we will be helping you out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.